welcome back to another How to Vlog. And today we're going to make some chicken burgers. You love chicken burgers, and these ones are special chicken burgers. They are gluten-free ones, which means that um, I can eat them. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do a chicken burger, you know, in a bun, like this. So we're going to go chicken, chicken burger in between there, okay? Rubbish. And we're going to do the chicken burger so that people can eat it who can't eat that or don't want to eat that. So that's good, isn't it? So chicken burger two ways. So, plus a special sauce to put with it. So if we're going to need some chicken breasts. That's the, we're going to start off with that. So you get all your chopping board like that. You don't forget, use one that you've already, just keep one of these for meat only. And, uh, and just use it for me, don't use it for vegetables. Okay, so we're gonna get one chicken breast, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the board, and we're gonna smash it. We're gonna smash it. So there we are, now there's a chicken breast, cut out for the, make sure it doesn't have any bones and stuff like that on it. Now you're thinking, why have I got this plastic bag sitting on there? Well, I'll tell you, because we could have it without the plastic bag, like that. But what's going to happen when we smash it, bits of that chicken is going to go in there. So, for easy cleanup uh, and so on, we're going to just use that, like that. So there's the chicken. Just a little, little bit of slice down there, like that. Just open it up a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to another plastic bag. It doesn't have to be a plastic bag. You use cling film, just something so you can see what you're doing, so it's clear and um, you can. Uh, Clean it up. Right, so we're going to start bashing. Which side do you use? Up to you. You can use a, the, if you haven't got one of these, you can use a, you can use a rolling pin like that. You see, you can just, it's the same sort of thing. So, I don't know. I'm going to use this hammer, this meat hammer. Meat tenderizer. I haven't used this in a long time. Anyway. I'll stop talking now because you won't be able to hear me anyway. Okay, so let me bash this out and just see what I'm doing. Right, there we go. Now you're thinking, why, why did he stop there? Why didn't he keep going? Well, you don't want it too thin. You could have it thinner, but you want it about the same size as that. I'm not going to put the bun on there, there's raw meat. Right, but you want it about the same size as that bun. Okay? So, that's one. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to trim it slightly. Keep that for one side there. We're going to trim it. I haven't got lost. so much room. We're going to trim it kind of burger shaped. So about that, we're going to go around here, use our fork, like that. So we're going to make it, that's about burger shaped like that. It's going to shrink a little bit, so that's perfect. Right, so we're just going to put that to one side, just for a moment, put it in the pan. We're not going to cook it, we need to do other things too. We're going to do another one now. So you're thinking, right, you see, you need one chicken breast, a small one, now this is a smaller one than that one, one small one per person, I reckon. That should be enough for a bit of salad and stuff and maybe a few chips or something. So, you know. It's uh, so put a little slit in there just to make it just to make it open it up a little bit so you can get the full the full Monty. So put a plastic back on there like that. I can't remember which one it is now. Oh it's that way. Okay. Right, back on we're doing. Now what you can do, if you don't like the noise and the, the board is a bit unstable, we can put just put a cloth underneath there. In fact, I'll just show you what to do. So we've got to get a cloth. And um, we're going to put, put it underneath the kitchen. Mean, if you've got one of these um, wooden blocks, you're laughing, you know these big, uh, what do they call those things in the centre of them? Butcher's block. Butcher's block. Oh, you're laughing, you don't have to worry about this. So this will cut down the noise. You listen now. See the difference? Much better. 
and you've got small children, some of them are asleep, you don't want to be whacking, you don't want to be going crazy in the kitchen. Anyway, I'll carry on. So, that didn't take long, did it? There's another one, look. See, it's about burger shaped like that. All right, there's a little bit on there. You don't have to trim it off, but I'm going to today. So I'm just going to trim that bit off. I'll show you what happens to them. Okay, so there's another one. So for this pur purposes of this uh, exercise, I'm only going to do two, just like that, um, for this thing. So we're going to move all this away. So what we're left with now are these are these uh, two chicken, two round chicken, bashed out chicken breast things, uh, which is great. Yeah, gluten free, okay, well, in a bun they're not going to be gluten free, are they? They're not going to be gluten free in one of these things, but they're going to be gluten free on their own. Now you can either do two ways or three ways. You can either cook them like that without any putting anything on them. We're not going to do that, we're going to coat them in, in um, a crumb, but we're going to coat it in cornflake crumb. So instead of cooking in, in breadcrumbs, you know, which I mean if you're not gluten free, you cook them in breadcrumbs, who cares? But if you're not if you don't cook them in breadcrumbs, then um, cook them in cornflakes. So I've got my little machine out here. We're just gonna put a few cornflakes in there. Don't use ones, don't use cornflakes that are already frosted, you know, like <laughs> Sugar. With sugar on them already, because uh, uh, it, it, it wouldn't be good. It seriously it will not be good. So we'll put a little machine on here, just blitz these up a little bit. Right now, if you didn't have one of these machines, that's what it looks like after, isn't it? If you didn't have one of these machines, uh, you could just bash it up uh, in a with the end of a rolling pin or something. Or put them in a plastic bag and smash them. That's the way you could do it. Anyway, so enough yakking on about that. There's the there's the um, there's the bread crumb. They're not they're they're corn crumbs. Okay. So now we're going to get an egg. We're going to get an egg, and we're going to put it. You might need more than one egg, of course. This is just one. One egg. So, I'll squeeze that up with a fork, put a bit of shell in there. Squeeze that up with a fork, like that. Now, with the breadcrumbs, you could either leave it like that, but we're not going to, we're going to give it a little bit of, a bit of, a bit of flavor. So I've got some smoked paprika here, which is a big hit in this house. I can, I can take it or leave it, but it's popular, so I'm going to put it in. You don't have to put it in, but um, you can. You can put ordinary paprika in there, you could put, um, I always, always put some salt in there as well, like that. And some black pepper, or white pepper, doesn't matter which one it is, just season it like that. You could also put in garlic powder, but let's keep it simple, you know, you have what you think is, is right. What I do is, is taste enough on it as it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our pieces of chicken and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to have to get this around the right way. What we're going to do is we're going to, right, we're going to go one, two, three, four, like that. So chicken, egg, breadcrumbs, um, uh, bread crumbs, corn flake crumbs and into the pan. Let's get our pan on here and put a little bit of oil in it. What oil you use is up to you. I'm going to use proper cooking oil here, proper frying oil rather than vegetable um, olive, olive oil because it's uh, I feel happier using it. This is a preference really. But Get some oil in there. Get the pan on. There's the red ring there you see. So you need to let the oil heat up a little bit before you put these things in. Uh, okay, let's talk about, whilst that oil is heating up, let's talk about 
the sauce we're going to make with this. The sauce we're going to make is kind of like, um, it's going to be a sauce to go with a burger. You can have it in the burger, which I'm going to do, or you can have it on the side, like a, a dollop on the side of the plate. Because if you're making this for people you don't know, you don't know if they're going to like it or not. You can also put it in a little bowl, a little ramekin, have it in a little pot as well. I haven't got one here, but you know, like a smaller version of this perhaps. And have it in the middle of the table and people could help. If you fill it up, people can help themselves, you know, and put it on their plates. Maybe that's a good idea. But if you know people like it, then... So we're going to make this sauce whilst that's heating up. So we're going to go in with one yoghurt. Now this is a thick yoghurt. Well, thickish. Use a Greek yoghurt if you can. But no, no sugar in it. Yeah? No, 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 no. no. You don't want to use one that's, uh, you know, strawberry flavour or anything like that. Got your plain yoghurt. And you think, oh, I don't really like plain yoghurt. Well, it's not going to taste like yoghurt when you finish with it. So, one yoghurt. Mayonnaise. Any old mayonnaise will do. And you want a heap teaspoon of like that. Okay? Well, in that goes as well. Give that a whiz round. Get that just off of it. That's not one not. So, Mix up a little bit. Right. Okay, we're going to leave the sauce now. We'll kind of come back to it because I know my pan's hot. I can smell it's hot. Hot enough to cook these. So, we're going to go in with, here's the chicken. So we're going to go chicken like that. You can't do this with that with, with tongs or anything. You have to use your fingers. So, one of those things. Get used to it. Get over it. Get your fingers in there. Now wash your hands, cool. Uh, first, don't, don't start cooking unless you wash your hands. It's not fair. So, there we go, full of our breadcrumbs now. And that fat in there is hot, okay? So you should start sizzling straight away. Let's do the other one. Now you don't want to make them any thicker than this. I think they're going to take a, a millennia to cook. It smells so good. And uh, they're going to, um, they're going to, uh, no, you don't want any thicker than that. Any thicker than half an inch, forget it. No, you don't want so. How come it smells so good already? Oh, it's your imagination. No, it's not. It smells delicious. Make sure the pan, the pan is hot when you put these in. We don't want the cornflakes soaking up any more oil than they should soak up. Otherwise, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, two thousand calories a, a burger if we let that happen. So let's put that one in there as well. Okay, what they, what you mustn't do is cover the pan. If you cover the pan. What happens is that the moisture inside the chicken comes out, and it um, and it makes the it makes you you're going to boil it. You're not going to fry it. So you keep the, the the lid off. Now these are pieces I showed you. That's the scraps, if you like. They're not really scraps, are they? But what you can do is you can make little ones like that. There's a little bit in there. You can have it as a snack. And you can have that. <laughs> and you bung it in as well. You can give it to your somewhere. camera lady. And you can give it to the camera lady who is... <laughs> at the moment she's saying everything is, smells really good. No. I'm just going to wash my fingers now. So you can see from that, if we do another two burgers, or two pieces of chicken, we're going to do, we need some more. We're going to give you some, at least another egg and some more. Okay. Corn flour. Okay, so. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of for demonstration purposes. I'm finished with these. I've got to do some more when I come back after doing this video to do the rest. Now you can make these in advance uh, if you want to. Don't assemble the whole thing. Just get them cooked, and then when you want to make the burgers, then just um, just uh, heat them, heat them up again. Reheat them. So here we are with our. Uh, but it's right, we're doing the sauce with me, that's why I'm getting sidetracked. The sauce, okay, the sauce, I'm looking for my wooden board. Ah, there it is. So, the sauce. What we're going to do is in the sauce, we're going to put some, and keep it simple again here. You know, everybody say, so everybody can get it. None of the ingredients are strange, you don't have to go wandering around the stores of a supermarket like a zombie looking for a particular, you know, uh, uh, 
herb or something everybody's got. Everybody can get easily. Okay, so here we are. Now these are gherkins, cornichons in France. Whatever they're called where you live. We're going to put these in here. So Pickles, isn't it? Pickles? Yeah, Some pickles people call it dill pickles or something. Pickles, pickles can be anything. Anything in vinegar is a pickle. No, in America they tend to call that pickle. Well, what we're going to do with here, we're going to chop it up real small, okay? So, just... It doesn't have to be micro small, but it's got to be small enough. You're saying, I don't like... I don't like... Uh, I don't like gherkins. Well, don't put them in then. It's very simple. Don't put them in. Uh, use... Um, Right, we're back talking about gherkins. Cut them up real super thin. Now, if you, you put the gherkins in, if you can, if you like them, you know, don't, they're, not, they're not, not a huge amount. All you're using is one little one here. Nothing hardly at all, really. And um, what else could you put in there? Uh, you could put in um, dried salad herbs, not dried ones. I mean. Freeze dried ones, the soft ones like um, ones that got parsley in it and stuff. Chives. Chives, yeah. Spring onions, whatever. Right, so that goes in there like that. Right? So that goes in there like that. Now we're gonna put in some a few olives as well. Now to cook these things. Just turn them down. They don't have to be in full tilt on the uh, on the on the stove. Just make sure they're moving around still. And we're going to check them. How many minutes outside each side? Well, I don't know. Seven minutes on each side, maybe. Don't want any more than that. As I say, don't cover the pan, otherwise you're going to have a soggy soggy burger. So I know this is a bit fiddly, but you know you. The rest of it is pretty quick, so uh, it takes. And people can see the love you put into it as well. If you just give them a, a little burger sauce, say, "Yeah, get on with it," then that's, then there's no love in there, is there? Cooking should be with love. If you don't put love in it, it won't taste as good. So, what else could you put in your in there? Well, don't forget it's got to go on or with a burger. So be careful. You don't want to put in any woody herbs or it's got a taste, you've got to be able to taste the chicken, so don't put anything, any strong, really strong flavours in there. Okay, so that is, goes in there as well. So, a little bit of salt in there, like that. So, let's squeeze that up a little bit, and you can kind of see what it's like. Now this one, this sauce here, it shouldn't be quite as runny as this. I don't know why it is. Maybe it's the temperature in here or something. It should be a little bit thicker than that. When you use the, when the, the yogurt that you use for that, make sure it's um, a Greek yogurt. A Greek yogurt. It's thick. I'm going to put this in the fridge because it shouldn't be this. Uh, it shouldn't be that runny. Right, back to the burgers. Okay, so back to the burgers. Let's have a look at them. Okay. Oh, you see that? Look, that's done. That's perfect on one side. So we're going to turn over and do the other one. Do this one over. Perfect. Perfecto. You think it? Oh, is that over? Uh, no, nah, that is absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. I'm going to add a little bit more oil in there because I know that's going to burn unnecessarily. Don't worry about adding a bit more oil. It's not the oil that's going to kill you. It's eating these every day is going to kill you. So yeah, these are good every once in a while. You live on these, you're going to have problems. So now these, these little little bits are a little bit coming on nice. I'll be able to scoff them in a minute because mm -hmm. you do get hungry making this this, this meal. So they're like what we call chef's privilege. They're the bits you cut off that the chef can have and nobody else can. Like chicken popcorn that you get in the fast food joint, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You can even serve it as a, as a snack for the kids with some veggies on the side. Yeah. And that sauce that you make? Yeah. Excuse me, I'm about to slip with my tea. That's good. So, let it begins to burn a little bit, just turn it down, right? Just, just turn it down. You don't need to uh, go crazy with these. It's really cool. So, salad. We're going to have these, these things with salad today. What we're going to do is we're going to get a plate like that. And it's going to be a salad that's just on the side, like that. Just, I make sure to make a side salad. Easy, easy. Right, so it's not the main event. It's just a little bit of green stuff to make you feel less guilty when you eat that. So, get a, get a piece of tomato. We'll just cut it down that way, like that, you see? So everybody gets a half of the core. So. Quarter of a tomato, oh. quarter of a tomato, and you just kind of like do that with it. Spread it out like that, a little bit of a fan. And then, you need to get an onion. An onion, like that. That was a bit rotten there, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't see that in the supermarket. So, so that was annoying, I had to cut most of that onion away. That was a waste of money, wasn't it? So let's just wash that little bit. Right, onion. So, we can cut the onion a different way today. We're going to cut it this way. Instead of doing it that, we're going to go this way, like this. Okay, how are we going to do that? So there's, there's just, that is just a bit of nonsense, that really. That's just a little bit of side salad to go with the burger. We're all going to put, we're going to put salad in here anyway. We've just done something on the side, like that, you see? Okay, so we'll go we're back and... Uh, what we're going to do now is just toast off these burger buns here. Like this, get some, um, heat them up a little bit. And uh, we're going to assemble our, we're going to assemble our um, chicken burger. We're going to do two ways. We're going to do chicken burger with this, and we're going to do chicken burger sole bun. bun, without a bun, okay? We're going to use this side salad to, to, to do that. Let me go and check on my sauce, make sure it's sticking up a little bit. Right, we're ready to rock, everyone. The burgers are done. Now, when the chicken the burgers are done, no. The chicken's done. So when the chicken is finished, you've got, you can keep it warm a little bit in here. Just turn it right down to on, to on to a real low, and you can keep this warm for, a, I don't know, half an hour, hour, I suppose. It's cooked now, you, you can test it's cooked. You stick a knife in it, like this, and if it goes through easy, it's done, it, it, as simple as that. No, don't cook them too, too fast. Right, the burger bun is done here, we've got some markings on it there, and it's hot, so there we go. So, we're going to go with the burger bun. Now, we're going to put on first, always protect the bun with some fat. We're not going to use our dressing, I've looked at it and it's, uh, it's because the, the, it's too, we're going to put it in this, we'll show you, we're going to put it in that thing and have it so that people can put their own on. So, for the burger, we're going to go in mayonnaise, here, protect the bun, and uh, it's quite a lot of mayonnaise there, but don't worry about it, some of it will soak into the bun, and, uh, It'll be okay. So next, we're going to go in with some uh, with some salad. 
with some sanity bits. So. We're going to chop some of this up. I don't put it in like that, because that's silly. But chop it into little bits first, fold it up, and you just go in like that. Okay? And then, place the metas on the bun. Like that. And then we're going to have some uh, tomato. Or you can cut the whole thing and make a big too big. The secret here is not to make the tomato too uh, thick. Don't make it too thick and put out the seeds if you can. The seeds can be bitter, you know. So and it makes the, the burger wetter than it should be, really. So get rid of the seeds. You don't need the seeds. Now what you could do here is you could put gherkin in. I'm not going to bother. Nobody likes gherkin in this house very much. They're all gherkin haters. We like it in a yogurt sauce they've made. Well, yeah, Tastes but, good like that. Yeah, that's true. But generally speaking, everybody pick up. I don't mind gherkin. I have everybody, have everybody else's. Right, onion. We're going to go in some onion. Again, thin, thin, thin. You don't, you don't chuck some onion like that. It is ridiculous. Thin, thin, thin. Thin, thin, thin. So, onion like that. Okay, so now we're going to get our chicken and we're going to put our chicken in. Now which one should we use for this? The rounder one. The I rounder think. one, okay. The rounder one. You see how it's cooked both sides there, look. See that? There's no, there's no uh, juice or redness or anything coming out, that's perfect. No, it's lovely. Okay, so now what you could do you, you could put some mayonnaise on, on mayonnaise. You tomato ketchup on there or burger sauce on there. But uh, in this house, we don't like any of that because we put the burger sauce on um, on, the on, on the chips and stuff. So we keep the the, the bun fairly au naturel. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick that on there. What you put in here is up to you, whatever you like. But it's the concept, it's the construct of the thing and the cooking of the chicken. Sorry, now. What we're going to do is put it here on a peanut plate to take some pictures of it. So, okay, so we've got the burger. Burger and it's uh, Sunday best over there, you can see. Looks good, doesn't it? That's a man manly burger, that is. I'll eat it. Right, we're going to get some of this yogurt sauce I made, the yogurt dip thing. As I say, it's, uh, it's worth getting the yogurt sauce that is. It's firmed up a little bit. I think it's because of the yogurt and the, both the yogurt and the the mayonnaise was at room temperature, it was hot, too hot, it's made it too thin. So when you do it, if I do it again, because I couldn't today, you get some extra thick yogurt, Greek yogurt, and make sure it's at room uh, it's in the fridge. So there we are, look. So what are you going to do with that then? Well, what you could do, if people, people can open that up and they can put it in there. Mm. or you haven't chips with it, they can dip it in it and put it on their chips, you see? So it's just a bit of a bit of sauce to go with it. Okay, so that's that one then. That's the burger and the, the and the sauce. Now we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one with song bap, song uh, bap, or whatever you call it, without the bun. So there it is there. Whoa! No, we're going to do that. We're going to, are we going to serve it up like that? You could. You could easily. But we're going to be, because I can't get all that in my mouth in one go, we're going to have to cut it up a little, a little bit. So we're going to cut it. We can cut it like that, that way. I think we're going to do that. So we're going to go in with a knife like that and cut it kind of like that. Like that. Can you show us the inside? Yeah, in a minute, in a minute. <laughs> There's the inside there, look, see? It's all done. Yeah, and not overdone either. I can I can tell it's not overdone. It, it's it's perfect, that is. So you pick it up like this, look. Carefully. Move it, move it, move it, move it. And then you put it on the plate and spread it out a little bit. So look. 
And uh, here we go. And of course, the other that sauce there that I made, what you could do, I wouldn't do it now, but I'll show you what you could do. So that sauce that you made there, you could just get that and drizzle it across there like that. Or a piece of lemon on, lemon on the side there or something. Some chips. Anyone who doesn't like burgers per se, the burger bun, this, this boy over here, this bad boy over here, anyone who doesn't like that can have that. And it's good for grannies and grandpas because it's got this with the, uh, with, uh, because it's easy to chew. And digest. Well, good for kids as well. And for kids as well, yeah. Well, like kids it. like burgers, don't they? I know, but if they're too small, they well, can't yeah, fit Well, yeah, for the small, small, small people, then, then this is ideal. And of course, you don't have to have that. You can have half of that or something. It's up to you. But that's a chicken breast in there. That's a chicken breast in there. So you work out how many people you've got to feed. And now, one chicken breast per person. And um, you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this uh, particular chicken burger, gluten-free, served two ways uh, recipe. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to. You subscribe to more recipes at the top left-hand corner. There's some top tips, top right-hand corner. Oh, no, way around. Anyway, up there and up here. There's some DIY tips down here. And if you want to subscribe to How to Bloke, then click the, the How to Bloke icon. You can always find this channel anyway, if you forget all that and you think, where's that recipe I had for that chicken burger, that bloke making it? The key word here is bloke. So, that bloke making the chicken, just, just search for how to bloke, not block, how to bloke. And just type in uh, how to bloke uh, chicken burger recipe. And it'll come up on, on, on uh, your favorite search engine. I mustn't mention any names there. So. Anyway, until next time, have a great one.